Holly B. Twister Sister here. Hey, I get a lot of questions about organization. And so, especially when it comes to printed rounds and all the different smaller balloons that you have because there can be so, so many. Especially when you start getting into using a lot of printed faces and things for your designs, it can be hard to manage the space and store them all in a way that is uh, easy and makes sense and is not too messy. So. I've struggled with this and I've tried many different ways of organizing my prints and rounds and hearts and geos and all the different shapes that there are. Um, the system that I'm using now I really like and so I want to show that to you guys today and maybe give you some ideas on ways that you can organize your balloon room, closet, whatever you've got into a way that is easy for you to see what you've got and what you need and also easy to kind of get in and out of and get what you need really quickly so you can get off to your events in a hurry. So I'm gonna take you guys over into my balloon closet and I've just kind of gone through all my rounds and shapes and stuff and made sure that everything is clean and organized and so I'm gonna show you guys how I am organizing my rounds and prints these days. Let's go! Okay, so we're in my balloon closet. You can kind of see the shoe holder storage I have for all my 260s here that hangs on the door. And then for all the rounds and different kind of specialty shapes and stuff, I've got these uh, plastic storage bins that I got from Walmart a couple years ago. They are about $25 each. I have two of them stacked on top of each other here. So this is the top of one. And what I've done is I've used the cups that you use for candy cups to put all of my rounds in their own little cups. And these have holes in the top. So if you just need one or two, you can just pull them right out. If um, you have some laying around in your balloon bag after an event, you're cleaning up your scraps and stuff, um, it's really easy to just shove the different balloons into the little cups where they go so you can keep more of your balloons and have less waste because um, I know in the past it's been like too much of a hassle to uh, put everything back and so I would just throw things away that were in the bottom of my bag but this makes it really easy to um, reorganize those balloons that kind of fall out of place just pop them back in the hole and then whenever I get a new bag of balloons that needs to go in here I'll just pop the lid off and then you can just fill them up you know really fast and easy and put them back in here same thing if you are stocking your balloon bag or your kit you can just pop the lid off and grab a handful and put that into the little pockets of your balloon bag so you can have a whole bunch really quickly and get those in there fast and this also works I have the larger balloons in here for the snowflake prints. I think, I can't remember if these are nine or 11, um, but you can also store the larger round balloons like this. So I have all of my different printed rounds here and each container, each shelf thing has three of these large drawers. So you can fit a lot of balloons in here. I've got a bunch of link balloons up here on the top, some printed link balloons with the falls and stuff over here. And then these skinnier drawers I'll use for things like uh, stickers and glow sticks and markers and things like that. You get two of the skinny drawers. So I've got my glow sticks, some extra pumps and stuff in there. Um, down here I've got room to grow. <laughs> it was just surprising, but I just organized and uh, cleaned everything out. So then down here I've just got some different five inch rounds. And down here we've got like the uh, hearts and geos and different things like that. So this is what I do and I'm really happy with this system. Um, in the past I'd have, you know, like I didn't have the lids on these cups and so they would fall over all the time. And get dumped out and it just made me not want to come in here because it was a huge mess so keeping the lids on them has been the answer for me and um, makes me really happy to actually come into my balloon closet because it looks nice and uh, let's see how many do I fit in each drawer this one is overstuffed by one you can kind of see it kind of want to come up but you can't fit 
it in there. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. So you can fit 16 cups in each of these drawers. And I've been really happy with this. It's been a great place, a great way to store all those odd shapes and prints and everything. Plus all my stickers and markers and pumps and things like that. It doesn't take up too much space. I've got this in this closet here so um, they're not gonna fall over because there's walls on either side holding it in there but you know what would you be doing without closet space anyway so um, it's been a great little addition and I can fit everything I need to right in there the other great thing I love about using these cups to store these balloons is it's really easy for me to see what I need to reorder since you know they're clear and I can just look and see what I'm getting low on now if you are you know just taking the lid off and you're just restocking your balloon bag let's say you just want to take all these out to restock your balloon bag what I usually do is I will just leave one balloon in the bottom of the cup that way I can look in my closet and easily see again what I need to reorder just leaving that one balloon in the bottom of the cup so I can see what I'm out of or what I'll be out of soon. The only problem I have with this system is that sometimes you can lose track of what brand of balloon is in these cups, which is not a problem if you always use the same brand, but if you're like me and you just use what you need, then sometimes it can be hard for color matching, like, is this Qualitex or, you know, if you're not really familiar with it. So what you can do is just write on the lid, you know, Qualitex, six inch hearts or whatever you have in here um, if you need to do that to help you remember it's an easy quick solution to fix that problem and yeah there you go now when it comes to on the job storage for all my printed rounds and weird little shaped balloons I've got two different things that I like to use that I'll show you guys now the first thing is this really cool contraption made by Ken shoot um, it slips over the handle on my case that I carry around and you can fit a whole lot of balloons in each of these little mesh pockets. They're elastic here at the top, so they um, are pretty secure. Balloons don't fall out too much. I don't have much trouble with that. And I will sometimes fit an entire bag of either 50 or even 100 sometimes. Just really shove them in there. Uh, I don't recommend it because then some of them do tend to pop out over the top and you lose them but uh, you can fit a whole lot of balloons in each of these and it is the same on both sides. You've got pockets on the back as well. And then at the top, see on this side, which is really cool, on the top is there's, behind this mesh pocket, there's another pocket here. And so this is a great place to hold like your business cards, things like that in these little pockets up here. You've got some hooks you can tie on scissors, your pumps, whatever. There's actually, I think this is meant to be a pump holder over here. Like a, you could hold like a 160 pump or something in this little side pocket. So pretty cool contraption. I really do like this. Um, so that is one option. And then uh, I have so many prints that I carry around that I actually will use that as well as my Aloha bag from Ron Fowler, which I know I need to do a whole tour video on my balloon kit and we will in the future <laughs> it's not in this video but these bags also have the mesh pockets on the bag and you can fit the same a whole bunch of balloons in each of these pockets so that's what i use at events just because i have a lot of different shapes and prints that i like to take around with me uh, if i do a line work event i might pare it down to just what i'm going to need for what's on my menu but it's not bad to be over prepared, right? <laughs> now, if you're just starting out, I would recommend investing in a good balloon twisting bag that has pockets around the outside of it so that you don't need extra equipment. You can just have everything you need in your bag. And then if you find that you need it later on, you can also invest in more space to store more specialty balloons and prints and shapes like that. So I hope that was helpful and maybe sparked some ideas for you and how you can 
organize and clean up your balloon area in your home. If you guys have really cool storage systems that you're proud of, let me know in the comments and even better if you can post a picture on our Facebook group to help inspire others and show us how you are storing all your different sizes and shapes of balloons. I would love to see that. That's in our free Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. If you enjoy these types of videos, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? We put out new videos every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. And then on Fridays, I teach you the business of balloons and we do advice topic videos like this one. If you want to hear more, I've got a few other suggestions that you might be interested. I'll see you over there in those other videos. Until then, happy twisting. Bye.